Paul, look at Acts chapter 11. Acts chapter 11 uh, and the apostles and uh, brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. When Peter uh, was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision, in other words the Jews, contended with him, saying, Thou wentest into men uncircumcised and did eat, didst eat with them. In other words, he went in with, uh, with Gentiles and he ate with them, and they had uh, found fault with that because they were Jewish. And the Jews actually probably to this day call us Gentile dogs. But Peter rehearsed the matter, uh, the matter from the beginning and expounded it by order unto them, saying, I was uh, in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. A certain vessel descend, uh, as it had been, a great sheet, let down from heaven by four corners. And it came even to me. Upon the which, when I had fastened mine eyes, I considered and saw four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay and eat. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean hath at any time entered into my mouth. Don't forget, he's a Jew. And so he is restricted in certain things that he can eat and can't eat. But the voice answered me again from heaven, and uh, what God hath cleansed that call not thou common. And this was done three times, and all were drawn up again into heaven. And behold, immediately there were three men already come un in unto the house where I was, sent from Caesarea unto me. And the Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit, bade me uh, go with them, nothing doubting. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house. And he showed us how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send men to Joppa, and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter. You like the way to heaven? Have a great night. God bless you. Who shall tell thee uh, words whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved? And that's what I'm seeking to do uh, this afternoon, to bring you the message of salvation, so that your soul could be saved, so that you can have forgiveness for your sins, and a home in heaven through the Lord Jesus Christ. There's absolutely only one way to heaven. That's through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for you and for me. Yes, and, uh, and as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell on them. As I asked at the beginning, then remembered I the word of the Lord, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. For as much then as God gave them the like gift as he did unto us, who believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, what was I that I could withstand God? When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified God, saying, Then hath God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life. And that's what we need. We need repentance. We need to come in repentance toward God, that is, a change of mind, simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The next thing is faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that can be you this afternoon. You and I need forgiveness for our sins. And the only way is through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ upon the cross. Through his precious blood that was shed that day on that cross. That blood has the power to wash your sins away, my friend. I wonder, are you saved this other as you listen to this message? Are you heading for heaven? Or you're heading down to hell. I want to tell you this. You and I, when we're born in this world, we're heading down to hell. And God does not want that for us. That's why he sent the Lord Jesus Christ, his beloved son, to die upon the cross for you and for me. And shed his precious sinless blood upon the cross of Calvary. As the full payment for you 
when you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is unto all, but it's only upon all. It's unto all, but it's on them, only those who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ will be saved in our words. You have to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ to become a child of God. We are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the uh, persecution that arose about Stephen travelled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene or Cyrene which when they were come to Antioch spake unto the Grecians preaching the Lord Jesus and the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned unto the Lord. That's what you need to do. You need to turn unto the Lord for your salvation. You know, a question was asked a long time ago, what must I do to be saved? The answer was, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That could be you this afternoon. You can get right with God. Your soul can be saved. You can start on your way to heaven through the Lord Jesus Christ, my friend. But you've got to come to Christ to be saved. There's no salvation apart from Jesus Christ. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Do you have the Son of God? Have you put your faith in Him? Then tidings of these things... Uh, came under the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem and they sent forth Barnabas uh, that he should go as far as Antioch who when he came and had seen the grace of God was glad and exhorted them all that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord for he was a good man and full of the Holy Spirit and of faith and much people was added unto the Lord that's my prayer that many people would be added unto the Lord this afternoon as they hear this message this afternoon. Are you right with God? Have you put your faith in Jesus Christ? Because without faith in Him, we are going down to hell. God does not want that for you. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Repentance being a change of mind. Simply come to God. Agree with him, yes, I realize that I am a sinner. But thy son has died for me upon the cross. But all you simply need to do is put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul be saved. The word of God says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Then departed Barnabas to Tarsus for to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. And in these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. And there stood up one of them named Agabus and signified by the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, that there should be great birth throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. Then the disciples, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwelt in Judea, which also they did, and sent it to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. These were great times of fellowship between the believers. The Christians were united together. But, you know, you and I have to realize uh, our situation before the Lord. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because of that we're heading down to hell and God does not want that to you, my friend. He wants to save your soul this afternoon. I wonder when you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, Will you put your faith in the one who was crucified upon the cross? He shed his precious blood on the cross, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness 
All sin. Yes, your sin can be forgiven if you come to the Lord Jesus Christ. But if you don't, your sins will not be forgiven. And you'll finish up dying and going down to hell. God does not want that for you, my friend. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him, that is on Jesus Christ, is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. What have you believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God? He's the one that you've got to come to know. And this afternoon, I believe the Lord Jesus Christ is calling you. He says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Have you come to the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you put your faith in Him? The one whom to know is life eternal. As I say, he that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. That is spiritual and eternal life. Can only be found in the person of Jesus Christ. You've got to come to Christ this afternoon. Come in repentance. Just change your mind. Agree with God that you are a sinner. And put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and God promises you everlasting life. When you receive that everlasting life that can only come through faith in the Son of God, the one who loved us enough to die for us upon the cross of Calvary, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. You are sitting in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.